today i'll walk with you step by step how you can unlock your iphone which is locked to owner today we'll be using a lot of different tools and it's the video is going to be lengthy so stay tuned and i'll show you how you can do it before we start we need to jailbreak our device first you can use WinRAR to jailbreak our device i'll put the link in the description so that you're able to jailbreak your device so this is going to take a little bit of while for it to jailbreak You have to put the device in recovery and DFE first before you can jailbreak it. If you get any error, put in the comment section so that I will help you and I will show you what you can do to resolve that error. After you are done jailbreaking your device, make sure you close the SaaS software and open your new software that is iHello HFS. That's the software that we are going to use to activate our device. And for this, this, this is a bit tricky. It is not like we used to do it at first. For this, you have to change the serial number of that device. So you have to open that software and see whether our device is supported or not. After you close out, you see it will keep running and it will show that your device is supported. If it is not supported, then don't proceed. Please don't proceed. But if it is supported, then you go on and register your device. You can DM me if you want to register your device. You can see the bypass is supported. For this one, we will proceed to the next step. Hello, you can see that bypass, you can see the pop-up message come. Bypass is supported. For this one, that means you have to register your serial number. Don't don't register your IM, I mean register your serial number, the original serial number. So I went onto my server and I register my serial number. Your device will be booted. Yeah. It will be booted. Then I will register your serial number. So stay tuned. The video is a bit lengthy, but stay tuned. I'll show you step by step. I've go and register my serial number on my server and you see when I click on the activate it's going to show that but make sure you you jailbreak your device first you understand me jailbreak your device you see as well and when they are giving me a serial number that I need to change my iPhone to you can see the serial number of them make sure you copy it somewhere so that we continue we are going to use a software called program this to change our serial number but before we do that we need to turn out some real time protection so that the software will be deleted be mind you the software is not a virus that's how it is so turn out real time protection and click and open that software so that we proceed and change our serial number i will show you step by step stay tuned so that i will help you you have opened the software make sure you head on to your browser and click on and search ios nemesis.python.anywhere or you can type 
broke around it and you click on that first first link that pop up so that you register your device over there after registration click on options and click on change serial number after you click on change serial number click on start and make sure you put your device in recovery then put it in df you don't put it in df directly or your device is going to boot so put it in recovery before putting it in df so let's wait for a little bit After you are done, click on that change your serial number. Then click on start. This will click, click on boot device. And if you don't have the boot file, the software is going to download it for you automatically. But if you have it, it's going to proceed smoothly. So, and make sure you monitor your drivers very well. Of course, in this, you have to monitor it or your device is not going to boot up and it's going to boot up in paper mode so stay tuned You can see that my device has been put up in paper mode you see so that means i have to head to the next step and change my serial number okay click on next you see right now you can see that serial number i have to change it to the one that i hello hfs had give it to me so i have to copy and paste that one over there then make sure that you get your com drivers very very okay or your device is not going to be you're, you're not going to change your, your serial number so head on to that device manager you see it's not even showing over here so you have to head on to that manager you can see that my device is messed up my driver is messed up so i have to change it to the correct one so you can see i've changed it to the correct drivers so that i'm able to change my serial number you have to wait a little you see they have to refresh it then that driver is going to come back again you see it has come back and if you have any question make sure that you put in the comment section so that i will help you you can chat me personally so that i will help you my serial number has been changed successfully my device is going to be it's going to boot then i'll head out to the next step You can see that the serial number has been changed you can see over here it has been changed to the one the i hello chefs gave it to me so let's go to the next step and make sure you subscribe to that youtube channel please subscribe to that channel please i'm begging you so let's head to the next step by open i hello hfs then jailbreak our device make sure that anytime your device boots make sure that you jailbreak it again before open the hello hfs you bob so you have to do that first to break your device then we follow to the next step
for me personally i don't like using the i hello chfs to jbreak my device i like using this best software course i went raw to jbreak my device it's very fast so i'll use that to jbreak my device and in a few minutes this is going to be done and if you want a place where you can register your device you can chat to me so that i will help you and if you're enjoying this video make sure to like subscribe and comment make sure that you share please make sure you share This after you are done jailbreaking your device, click on that I hello HFS. You can see that that serial number has been changed. That there, you can see it has been changed. So connect your device and click on activate. You understand? You have to click on activate, and you have to wait like one minute or something. Your device is going to be activated successfully. And mind you, this is not going to be this, the device is not going to skip setup like we it has been used to. So. You have going to set up manually so let me, i'll show you how you can even do it so let's wait my device has been activated successfully your device is going to boot mind you you are done you are done activating and this is the one the cheapest and uh, cheapest way to activate your device you can see and you can see through the about you can see that a serial number has been changed <laughs> you understand so if you enjoyed this video make sure to like comment share whatever you do to make that video go viral thank you